What's good fam? Welcome back to JTrading. How you all doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about this trade that we took two days ago, boom 1000, and it's absolutely crushing. Uh, our TP1 has been hit, and we are now headed for uh, our TP2 way down here. And uh, I'm gonna talk about crash 1000. Also, I gave this signal on the VIP, both the signals. Uh, they were given out on uh, VIP. So crash 1000 it was on profit. It was almost at TP1 But right now it looks like it's on a pullback right back into the entry. So uh, Before we talk about this, I'm going to show you something from our VIP uh, as you can see this one is our VIP telegram channel here we have uh, about 419 subscribers We have 419 subscribers we do share things, important tips, signals every day whenever we see good setup. So uh, if you want to join, the link will be in description. You can also join the VIP through the website. The website will also be in the description. So I gave out these signals on the VIP uh, channels. So on the VIP channel, we have shared this signal. But at the end of the video, I'm going to share the most important tip for you all. So as you can see here on the screen, there is a tip. So I'm going to talk about this tip at the end of the video. So make sure you stick to the end of the video. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell. Now let's get into the uh, charts. So the first chart that I want to show you is Boom 1000. So the, the thing I have realized in Boom and Crash through time is that the charts are most of the time they are choppy it is very difficult for you to understand if you are not uh, mastered in the, the uh, reading charts or if you're not good at reading chart it it will be very difficult for you to understand so the thing is uh, look most of the time what happens in boom and crash market is there is always a run and there is always a stop so the market always runs then it stops for a bit then again it continues its uh, uh, rally so this is what happens so what you need to do is wait for the market to make a stop don't don't catch a knife which is falling don't get into a train which is uh, going what you need to do is wait for an entry so uh, the entries always will be at the stop so let's see here we have a run over here if you see here we have a bunch of green candles right so this is called a run then we have uh, a stop over here so the market made a huge run up but it took uh, a little bit of rest over here so after this then we have another run up here then after taking that run then there is another uh, break over here so what you need to do is always uh, you can wait for the price to give you an entry uh, either a buy or a sell entry after making a stop after making a uh, a break like this so what we did was uh, uh, I actually looked this on this chart on daily time frame on a daily time frame I was looking at this chart after making a huge rally up like this uh, actually let me change this color it's blending with the chart so let's make this light blue like this so this uh, rally over here if you see after making this rally uh, at the at the top of the rally we have break season here so the market was taking a break but in this break season if you see we have a lot of rejections so these uh these weeks they tell you a lot of things because uh since they are inverted from the upside down that means the sellers are pushing the price down so whenever the buyers try to push the market up sellers are coming in stepping in and uh pushing the price way back down Again, we have another week here, another week and another week. So almost there are four weeks together. So those weeks, they are almost at the same level. These weeks are formed at the same level. So if you draw a box over there, inside that box, the price is getting rejected multiple times. So this means after getting rejected from this box area, the price is going to fall. It's, it's for sure, it's uh, uh, sure that if you go to the lower time frame the price is destined to fall because look so if you go to lower time frame uh, on the box area there is a chopped up price section but on the higher time frame we have seen that those are highs right those are weeks so 
uh, here on the lower time frame on four hour chart we can draw actually a trend line like this so this trend line connects the lows the low points from uh, the chart like this we have low here higher low higher low higher low by the way if you don't know how uh, to read these kind of things or if you have no idea what highs and lows are you can uh, subscribe to the course that we have uh, we, that we have started giving on the application we have our own application so you can subscribe to the course and you will get everything it's uh, super easy so you can connect those lows together by this trend line and what i did was i looked for this price to break out of this trend line with a huge momentum if you go to one hour time frame also you will see this so on one hour time frame we have a bunch of candles which are red so uh, i took a sale over here the market uh, drove way back down here then uh, it came back up to the entry that was actually a second entry for us we could have taken another entry over here on the uh, entry level here the level that we have took if you see here the first level we took uh, the price came back to that area then again the second time it came back to that area so all this time we could have added another positions or if you had missed the first trades you could have taken another trade over here so that was it then the price finally broke out of this triangle and it started its uh, uh, rally down like this so right now it's going down so the first tp was if you go to uh, four time for four hour time frame this area here the low the lowest level if you see here we have low right so that low uh, was our tp1 our tp1 was hit in the second uh, uh, tp will be at this area right here if you see we have uh, the area this area it's called the support area it's an important area so at this level we'll be getting out of the market so this is what exactly happens always the market makes a run then uh, it stops for a while then makes a run so here we have a run it took uh, a stop here then again it it's running right now so after taking maybe another uh, break the market may run way uh, down to this area so we will see what's going to happen uh, together we are going to see this so now let's go to cash 1000 in cash 1000 what happened was the exact same scenario but in the opposite direction so the market was trending downward like this so we can connect those uh, higher lows this is the first high the second high the third high so these lower highs will be connected together with the trend then uh, the market the price broke out of this trend line and uh, if you see on the lower side also we have lower lows lower lows but finally the market created higher low at this area so this is also another signal for you to uh, look for a buy opportunity so uh, after this this uh, breakout huge rally from the trend we took a buy uh, entry over here the market went up nearly to the tp1 but unfortunately it uh, it pulled back down to the entry so uh, it's fine we are almost there on the entry level that's break even i haven't uh, i haven't moved my stop loss to the entry actually so we'll see what happens i think it's just taking a break over there so the first rally will be to tp1 then uh, it will go to tp2 actually so we're going to see this now let's go to the tip i'll head back to the vip group and let me talk about this tip so the tip is it says like this if you are using one ratio three risk reward management and you take one trade every day for a single week so let's say you're using one ratio three that means you are risking one part of your trade your equity to get a reward of three so let's say on monday twist day thursday and friday you lost that means four days out of a week you lost and only won one day on Wednesday you won. So that means you have four losses and one win. Since you are using one to three ratio, that means your win will be threefold of the losses, right? So it, it's going to cancel three losses out. That means you'll be in a loss of one only. So the whole week you have four losses and one win, but the net uh, uh, balance will be only one loss. So uh, uh, I just wanted to tell you that using a good risk ratio management is very important I stick to your strategy I stick to whatever uh, risk ratio management you are using uh, i recommend using one ratio three minimum one ratio two don't go for one on one 
if you are risking one part to take uh, to get a reward of one that would be very risky or it would be very difficult for you to grow your account so stick to either one ratio two or one ratio three then you will make it through time so i have a lot of students they are asking me how to grow my account so the, the only way to grow your account is to stick to your uh, strategy and uh, uh, trade through time you're not gonna make it in one day you're not gonna make it in uh, a week so you'll see progress through time and after a while or a few days or a few months you'll be a pro trader or a good trader i'm sure so i will come back with another video see you next time bye